Welcome back to Mega Man 4. We're going to tackle Feral Man stage today. Now, Feral Man, as I recall, was designed for uh, exploring ruins and tombs. I don't know why, but whatever. Doesn't make much sense to me why you would uh, need it specifically for that, since most robots could do that generally, I think. Mega Man doesn't have any issues. Also, the stage is nothing but quicksand on top. Turbo Controller is your best friend here. Now, here's a little trick. And you will need this item coming up. Oh, hey, we can keep going. Also, I love the music in this stage. Almost all of them have really outstanding music. This came out a bit later in the uh, NES's lifespan. What's this? It's the balloon adapter. And this is actually a deadly useful device. Picking it up skips us ahead in the level, too. Come on. Bubble bats. Good, I got energy anyway. These things are interesting. A lot of tricky jumping to be done. There we go. However, they will ferry you safely over the spikes. Oh, mummies. Mummy robots. What? Oh, okay, this is a little off the deep end for me. We have mummy robots hidden away in tombs. Mummy robots. Okay, we're at the boss. This is gonna seem a little cheap for some of you, but, uh... <laughs> This guy will kick your ass otherwise. I've started on Feral Man 4, but, uh... Here he is. Blink and you'll miss him. So, this is why we use the Flash Stopper. Kill him. I should have killed him by now, but I stopped him at a very poor place in, in uh, the fight. There we go. It's even better than the uh, Time Stopper from uh, Mega Man 2. Yeah, he's kind of uh, he kind of gets chumped by that weapon. You got Pharaoh Shot. This is a really useful ability that lets me fire in diagonals. Only downside is it has very little ammunition. Let's see, Pharaoh Shot is good against Ringman, if I am not mistaken. Ringman's gonna be fun. Now, Ringman was designed specifically to kill Mega Man. Hence the boomerangs. This stage is actually a lot of fun. Okay, here we go. Now, those things, as they are now, Disappear from this end. Let's see. There we go. Ow. Ow. Okay, we're good, we're good. I'm screwing up massively, but we're all we're okay here. How are you? Okay, nothing. Okay. We're gonna use the uh rain flush here. And there you go. Crap! Well, time to use another rain flush. That's why I'm not supposed to dash over it. There we go. You can keep pace with them for the most part. It's usually better to get a heart a head start on them. A hard start on them? Yeah, go go brain. And now the stage gets dark. What's this? Would you believe me if I said a hippopotamus? 
Turbo Controller is your friend. So all of these games had some boss that was a gimmick to sell you a Turbo Controller. Now these things we can't really hurt until we have a different weapon. This thing, I don't know what the hell it is. I also don't get the theme with eyes here. It can't really hurt you, it's not that big of a pain to fight either. Come on. Seriously, get this timing down, man. It's a lot harder than it looks. If you fire too soon, they'll get blocked by the rings. If you fire too late, they uh, won't land in time. Oh, it's another hippo. Down it goes. Wow, that one didn't even score a hit. Oh, what's up here? We could rush Coil up. Yeah, let's rush Coil up there. Hey, it's Eddie the Flip Top. Dr. Light's luggage. Uh, swap over real quick. And away he teleports. Okay, these things suck. They get close enough to you, you can't hurt them. And they start spinning like maniacs. Okay, now these things change a little. Dive off at the end of the platform. The trick to them is to let them run out and run over them. With any luck, you may actually get to the end in time. Let's rain flush this. I don't feel like taking a risk. Hey, extra life, too. I will not have nearly as many extra lives and, uh, E-Tanks as I did in 3, I'm sorry. There we go. That's actually a pretty tame fight. As is this one, once you know what to do. No! Crap! I forgot to stand on the, uh, thing. Rain Flush will end these in 3 shots. Since we don't need it for the boss, we might as well. Here's the boss. We're gonna get the Pharaoh shot. There's a trick to the Pharaoh shot to not use up any ammunition. It's Ring Man. This guy is actually pretty tough. Now, what we'll do is we will then select that again, but it's not gonna matter, he killed me. So, Ringman does not fuck around. He hits like a truck, his boomerangs hit like a truck, and he moves quickly and is probably the hardest robot master in this game. Seriously though, just hit him with five or six good pharaoh shots, he'll die. Now, conserving the Pharaoh Shot is something we'll need later, though. Because, again, Pharaoh Shot is basically the metal blade of this game. You got Ring Boomerang. And Olive Drab Scheme. Continue. Ring Boomerang is good against... I want to say Dustman. I want to say Dustman. I know Dustman beats Skullman, Skullman beats Diveman, Diveman beats Drillman. So yes, we're going to go tackle Dustman. Dustman was designed as a, dis a waste disposal robot, as evidenced by the giant vacuum on his head. His stage is also a giant junkyard and can basically be viewed as a graveyard for robots. He has a very somber theme. The stage was one that gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. Not so much these days, though. It's a re 
I really love the background. Ah, these things. And this area. Now these pl these will uh rise from no from nothingness and uh, make a platform for you. You'd be screwed if you didn't have Rush Jet here, and these platforms weren't here. Those things are a pain in the ass. They have sizable knockback. Come on. Really? I can use another light. And over we go. They look like ladybugs, now that I think about it. Do you use any weaponry? No. E-tank, please. I'll take that. Extra life works just as well. This area is interesting. This is a trash compactor. And it will kill you if you don't clear out enough garbage. We're gonna have to clear this out, because, uh... One of these does not... Yeah, this one is interesting. You need to clear this out, and you need to be able to slide back here. So we need to, yeah, break everything there. Slide out. Slide back. I'll take that hit for some safety, honestly. Slide out, and we're good. Now dodge that other crusher, and we're golden. I've lost many a life here. Hi, you. One of the longer stages, too. Burning robots, damn. That's, that's some heavy shit right there. All right, ring boomerang. Dustman is a very easy boss. He's you can start on him if you uh, desire. The Dust Crusher will let you go immediately after uh, Skullman. And the Dust Crusher is a bomb wrapped in uh, debris. He also pulls you in. He's a bit like Magnet Man from the last game. And he's dead. Eminently simple boss. Very easy pattern. And he gives you one of the better weapons. Dust Crusher isn't anything to sneeze at. You get Dust Crusher. And Dust Gray pattern. Alright, that's three Robot Masters more. I'm going to go ahead and stop here, and we will pick up next time as we tackle Skull Man. You know, I can't help but sense the invisible W'd hand here. Hmm.